describe the game? What, what is it like? What do you do? The game is about going down a well, wearing guns for shoes. So you just basically keep falling down this well, um, seeing what's up, uh, seeing what's down actually. Uh. So the main gimmick of the game is that you are wearing this thing called the gum boots. Um, it looks like this. And uh, so if you press jump while you're jumping, you shoot downwards, right? And your objective is to keep going down. So every time you beat a level, you get to choose from like these sets of three random upgrades. I'll get this, which will enable me to like burn the enemies away when I stomp on them. You are showcasing your uh, game here. What's the name of the game? Our game is Clockwork Damage. Uh, why should people play it? So, a couple years ago when we started development, we've seen that uh, in mobile there's not really good, very good quality games. And the games that there were, even if there were, some of them had decent graphics, they didn't have the in-depth story mm. that true gamers really like to see. Uh -huh. right? Like a story that also you can change by the decision to take and so on. So we decided to do a game that is very powerful in story. It's exclusive for mobile, at least for now. Okay. So for iOS and Android, also for Nvidia Shield, so you can mm. use the game but and you'll find a steampunk aesthetics action RPG that you, I think you'll find really fun to play. And you can customize a lot of the things you can do in the game, a lot of the weapons, in unique ways. Yesterday I saw that there is a lot of different weapon options, like you can switch the weapons. Can you Absolutely, yeah. So we can switch the weapons within the game um, without stopping. Uh, so we can shoot different weapons. For example, um, I really like this one, where we, we can use like lightning to uh, shoot several ones at the same time. And we can also go to the workshop and customize a lot of things here. So we can choose the different pads, the engine as well, um, or even the, uh, the armor as well. Name of the game, what is it? Uh, so this game is Galaxy The Dimensional, it's a spaceship shooting game uh, coming to PlayStation 4 and PC later this year. Uh, it's sort of a roguelike uh, take, a modern sort of artificial intelligence and physics based roguelike take on the classic spaceship shooter from uh, you know the old kind of old school 2D shooting game days. So the game starts with you uh, having a mission, you come in from outer space and you fly into these caves. So you can see I have this cave here. This is my target here. So I'm going to find my way in here. Every time I play this, it's going to be a procedurally generated cave. So it's, all, it's always different. Yeah, it's always different. Different squads of enemies, different groups. There's some enemies here. So I played this game yesterday and there's a lot of uh, physics going on. Could you tell us a bit about that? So the whole world is based on Newtonian physics. So everything has got real amounts of float and mass. Even though it's in outer space, we cheated a bit to feel a little bit more arcadey and, and fun. Um, Kind of story going on, like why are you doing these these missions? So there was a giant. There was supposed to be a giant peace treaty with the Imperials and the Earth, and uh, the Earth fleet went out to meet them and, and go over the terms. And there was a giant ambush, and they they got wiped out. The Earth fleet is almost completely gone now. I noticed the cell shading style is very specific and hard to pull off. Can you tell us a bit more about that? So the game is sort of 2D and 3D. It's a mix. You know, it functions in a 2D plane, but a lot of the ships and stuff have to be 3D. Um, the tune shading is just something we spent a lot of time tuning and kind of working on to, to make it really match stylistically a lot of the old anime we were looking at for reference. What, what is it? Please uh, tell me something about it. Yeah, Rollers of the Realm is a video game that combines uh, classic arcade pinball and fantasy role-playing games. Well, this game combines two completely different uh, game genres that haven't really been uh, mashed together the way that we have. So it's very innovative uh, and it's easy to play. So uh, you can start playing right away, but it has a lot of depth to the gameplay. So you can get in quickly, but then you can really get interested in it. It's very similar to uh, regular pinball on a high level, but you can see there's enemies on the field that you need to defeat, and you have to use your pinball flippers to try to attack them. Uh, so 
basically, my game is called Pixel Pirate. Um, it's a kind of Famicom, uh, Super Famicom, or NES, Super NES uh, hybrid, um, using the NES uh, restrictions. Okay, so what do you mean by these restrictions? So the NES was a, is a, a great console, uh, had a lot of great games, but uh, its restrictions uh, with color and uh, how many sprites you could have and those kinds of things were kind of what made games look the way they did. Um, so I've used those restrictions, uh, but also used modern uh, technologies to create this game.